All right, everybody. Hello and welcome to the pre-show. That's right. It is another pre-show today on this Thursday, October 17th, 2019. Hello, everyone. I'm hoping that each and every one of you are joining us in now on this uh, pre-show that taking place here at 725. We're doing that just to make sure that each and every one of you have the post notifications that go out. So this way you are aware of what's happening, um, you know, as far as our show is concerned when we officially go on the air at 730. Folks, I want to thank each and every one of you for your kind words um, and a huge support for yesterday's episode uh, entitled The Truth Always Comes Out. Um, A lot of people have had the opportunity uh, to write to me and say, listen, you know, I can't believe you actually came out on the air and said that you, you know, you, you lied at once and you were continuing to lie even in your 20s. I had some people even say, why would you uh, put yourself out there and um, make people think that maybe you continue to, to still lie? And uh, and honestly, to be very honest with you, I, like I've said from the very beginning of this show, I would never hold back, um, whether, whether that's my personal testimony, if there's people out there that want to share a story and they tell me don't hold back on the story, um, you know, that's what I've always done. I, I, I can't, uh, I refuse to be somebody that I'm not. Uh, it was very, it was hard to just come out and say certain things that I, you know, but sometimes I don't plan. I, I, um, I kind of know the base of what I'm going to talk about and I go off the cuff and I allow myself the opportunity to, uh, find the right words. And if things just happen to come out, they do. Um, in my mind, I knew that I would have to bring up my past and my past of, of, of being a liar, you know, and, um, you just have to be honest. You have to, again, the truth comes out and the the truth will set you free. So it was exhilarating for me. Um, As many of you know, uh, I I have no, um, uh, I've never held back. I've told everyone a year, I'm honest when I tell you that I'm in therapy. I go to therapy and uh, therapy allows me the opportunity to be that honest. It allows me the opportunity to, to speak exactly what I want to say. And, um, of course my, my faith does help and it's a huge factor. Um, and I, and I do that also because I want all of you to know that I'm not just some guy on a microphone, um, trying to be somebody a that I'm not. And at the same token, uh, trying to do it to make views or shows or, uh, to get uh, famous. That's, that's never been my intent. Um, I've always believed that this is a, a calling for me. This is something that I've always wanted to do. And uh, whatever opportunities uh, present itself, whether that's, um, you know, allowing myself to put myself out there um, because it, I feel that it may hurt, may help other people, um, let it be. And um, I'm only hoping that as we continue to move forward on our show here at Half Faith Let It Begin, we will do so in a respectful, honest, and, um, uh, you know, ex- I can't even find the words right now. A respectful, honest, and just a very motivating and positive show. Now, there's going to be days where we're going to have stories that are not going to have happy endings, and we're going to have sad days. We're going to have days that we can't explain, and that's where our faith comes in. And uh, that's what I wanted to touch base with you guys this morning before I start the 7.30 live edition, um, because in all honesty, this is just something that um, I felt like I needed to address to each and every one of you because of the outpouring uh, feedback that I got from yesterday's episode. Um, and you know what? I love the negative feedback. I love the positive feedback. Um, and, and at the end of the day, everybody's always said the same thing. Don't change who you are. Uh, don't change the show format. Uh, be truthful. And uh, that's why we keep coming back. And for that, I am so eternally grateful and uh, honored uh, to be a part of uh, your, your morning commute each and every day. So we're reaching the four minutes uh, mark, so let me just do a little business, and then we'll get started for the 7.30 edition, the live edition of Half Faith Let It Begin. Folks, we're available on every platform, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Spreaker, um, uh, Spotify, Um, we have Google Podcasts, uh, uh, CastBox Player, Player FM, um, we are now available on the Alexa app. We're available on Sonos. Um, this is uh, We have our own YouTube channel. You can go to our website, halffaithletitbegin.com. You can email me personally, angel at halffaithletitbegin.com. Um, on our website, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can go and do a prayer request. Um, they go right directly to my phone. 
If you have a chance, um, obviously subscribe to our show, but also go to our like page, Have Faith, Let It Begin on Facebook, and we're available there, um, and you can chat with us there as well. Folks, with that being said, let's get started with another rendition of Have Faith, Let It Begin on this Thursday, October 17th, 2019. Let's go. On June 16th, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. Well, folks, dreams do come true. This is Have Faith, Let It Begin, and this is our first episode. A weekly show all about faith. Every day, we're going to battle storms. We're going to face challenges. But we have to remember that we're not going to do it alone. We have to have faith. A show with motivational topics. As you go into work today, don't allow anyone to steal your joy. Lift your head up high and know that God is with you. Inspirational stories and personal testimony set out to change the world. My wife and I are expecting our first child. I'm going to be a father. (laughs) Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. On this Thursday, October 17th, 2019, we hope that you're having an amazing week. And get ready, folks. We're literally 24 to 48 hours away from the weekend. So let's uh, let's start our morning commute here on Thursday. Get this day up and over with so that Friday can be here. And before you know it, the weekend is here. Folks, this is going to be a two-part episode. It's entitled Stress. And listen, you know, this whole week we've dealt with different types of topics. Um, we have dealt with issues about uh, the truth coming out. Uh, We have dealt with, of course, the stress test. And uh, I just want to get right off the bat, talk to you a little bit about how important it is to do all that you can to stay positive, stay focused. I may even relabel this, um, you know, uh, keeping positive. Um, We'll we'll get off the uh, stress topic, even though it's similar. um, I I don't want to keep using the same title. So let's just call this now, um, if it's probably been changed uh, by the time I well, it's not for change. I, I, I'm just going to do it anyway. Um, I'm changing it as we speak. So there we go. Uh, it's probably going to be positive. So we're just going to go that route. Um, I just want to say one thing. Um, throughout the entire year that we've been on the air, or over the year, I should say, um, since we started on June uh, 16th, uh, 2018, um, it's remarkable to say how much influence this show has had on so many people. So many different lives have been touched. I can say that freely and openly based off of your feedback. How often we continue to share our personal testimony with each other. How often we continue to share in our downs, our ups, our storms, our obstacles, our challenges, our triumphs, and how many times we repeat the same things over and over again. Sometimes there are emails that come through that say, Angel, I had a great week. Angel, I've had a great month. Only to have the next day say, oh, I'm in a storm. And then, of course, weeks or days later, I'm out of the storm. And then all of a sudden, you kind of feel like you repeat the process yet again. One of the things that is most uplifting for me is listening to how people's faith have grown. How often people have wrote to me and said, it is because of this show, I feel as if I'm able to have a conversation with God, have a conversation with my wife, have a conversation with my husband, sharing stories with my family, relating and communicating better with my parents, my friends, my loved ones, allowing myself the opportunity to talk to my daughter, talk to my son, And I will tell you right now, all that praise, all that feedback, I don't give any of it to me. I give it to God because God has given me the ability and the treasure and the gift to spread the word, to spread good word, to spread good news. And as him, as he is part of my life, he's made the greatest tag team partner and the best friend for me, allowing me to be on this platform so that we together can put this out there for you. One of the things that is hard for all of us to understand is that we're going to encounter different types of people. People that are positive, people that are negative. 
I can't tell you how many times I want to do the same episode over and over again and talk about people stealing your joy. And I always throw it in there because one way or another, somebody is dealing with that situation. The hardest part is trying to relate to somebody that continues to be around people that are negative, continuing to be around people that just love to find the negative in a positive. One of my biggest uh, situations that I've had throughout half of my uh, friendship was with my friend Brian. How often I would have to tell him, you always find the negative in a positive. And just to watch Brian grow over the last year and a half has been remarkable. He's so positive. He's so uplifting that it's hard for me to even imagine me saying that as I say it. But Brian, I'm proud of you because you've totally changed. You've been and you are working on being an even better person than I've always known you were. Individuals out there that are constantly writing to us and saying things like, my life is better. My life has improved. Watching Ashley move forward into her professional career. Watching her find the man of her dreams and moving in and getting getting ready for the next challenges and the next uh, you know uh, adventure in your lives is is very very uplifting. Watching my daughter overcome many challenges. Watching my daughter face difficult odds, only to eventually move forward in her health and her prognosis. Having the ability to deal with my own issues, my own insecurities, my own depression, my anger, and having to share that with each and every one of you, only to get things in the better uh, frame of mind, in a better uh, state of mind, I should say, has been awesome. Listening to stories like Crystal, who are overcoming the, and, and continuing to fight uh, their medical condition and only getting better and better by the day when we were in grave situations to begin with. Listening to Samantha, who is a huge inspiration to me and this show, battling cancer and constantly fighting the good fight. Having the ability to see Barbara go in and out of the hospital, in and out of rehabilitation, only to walk literally with unassisted help to get inside of her home after being gone for so long, knowing that God has put that energy, that strength in you makes me feel excited listening to Yolanda a good colleague of mine go in and out of the hospital and only to tell me that prayer has really helped her we continue to pray and hope that we find and the doctors find exactly what we're looking for what they're looking for I should say so that they can help you in your prognosis watching my family endure so many different things sickness breakups arguments difficult situations movement has always been hard my marriage always doing well but in the back end um, end of my mind dealing with past situations that seem not to go away I mean there's so many things that we can talk about here on this show on this platform one of the things that I've always strived to to help you all with is keeping positive staying focused allowing the ability to move in the right direction, seeing individuals go through the biggest struggles of their lives as my friend Sigfredo lost his father and watching him slowly try to move one day at a time. My prayers are with you. I'm here for you, my friend. Watching Chip and his music career, watching him go out and continue to do what he loves while also being an amazing father. Having all these people in and out of my life um, and meeting new strangers, new friends along the way has always made this show so inspiring, so uplifting, and so eager and willing and excited to go on the air each and every weekday. Watching my nieces grow to the young ladies, young women that they are. Watching Isabella, who you've heard on this show, uh, try to invoke her opportunity to become a better a basketball player. To listening to my sister post on Facebook how the kids are inspired by the things that she's done. Leanne, I'm proud of you. There are so many people in this world that I continue to be excited about that listen to the show. They continue to reach out to us and let us know that they're doing well. I just hope that each and every one of you as you continue to work and move forward in the workplace know that God is with you and being positive and not allowing anything to steer up and, you know, clean, you know, to sneak up and steer your joy and allowing others to be negative 
that's something that you and I can work on together. Remember, it's only one random act of kindness and we can all do it together by just believing in ourselves. I hope that each and every one of you continue to listen to this show, continue to be inspired by this show, and hopefully are have no problem sharing with others that you listen to a podcast entitled Have Faith, Let It Begin. We hope and pray that each and every one of you will continue to move forward in your uh, up and coming days. We hope that each and every one of you are excited and thrilled about what's next to come. But for now, we hope you enjoy your Thursday morning. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Have faith. Let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.